Hello children, how are you doing? Wow, 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 wow. It's so awesome to be in your midst once again to bring God's word. I'm sure you're happy. I am super excited that we are running towards the end of the year. It will soon be Christmas, remember? <laughs> wow, this is the third week of the month of November. And it's an awesome time to be in God's presence once again. Come on, with that same excitement, let us give the Lord our awesome praise, okay? Close your eyes, everybody. Let's praise him. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for all you've done. We give you all the glory for bringing us to this month. We thank you, O oh God, for this new day. This is the third week of the month of November, and we are excited. Thank you for keeping our brothers, our sisters, our parents. Lord, we give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are in your presence once again. And we ask that you come and be in our midst. Teach us your word by your Holy Spirit so that we can be better children in everything we do. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen and amen. Okay, now it's time to really dance and sing to God. Okay? Call your brothers, call your sisters, call everybody around you. It is time to praise God. And I'll see you after the praise and worship session. What an incredible God we serve. Incredible, incredible. 
So we are still talking about God's promises and today we'll be talking about the great tribulation. Wow, the great tribulation. That sounds like a big word, right? Okay, let us break it down. Tribulation has to do with trouble, okay? Like in Nigeria, where, where I'm from, we say, Wahala, okay? <laughs> That's by the way. All right, so it has to do with trouble, okay? Distress, right? Great problem. Okay, we've broken it down now. I'm sure you understand what tribulation is right now. Great tribulation. All right. Now, talking about promises. You know, God promised that He is going to return for the saints. By saints, I mean those who are good, those who have been doing well, those who have been obeying his commandments and his precepts, right? Okay, now, let me paint a scenario. For instance, daddy or mommy, whichever, promised to um, get you a gift or, oh, or okay, L let's say daddy and mommy uh, promised that they were going to take you out on vacation, maybe somewhere you've never been, and uh, you, you get excited. And they say, okay, no, 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 chill, <laughs> calm down. This is going to happen if you are able to do this. Okay, maybe they say, if you are able to pass your exams with good grades, like you pass all the subjects, you come out top in all the subjects in your school. Okay, I've painted a scenario now. Someone is like, wow. Right. Now, if you were that person, what would be your reaction? You would fight, you try hard in your school in order for you to come out top. All right? In order for you to clear all your papers, you come out successful in, in flying colors in all your subjects. All right, so now let's see. What if that person or that child wasn't able to come out top or to f clear the papers? What would happen? Let's say if, le let's just say you were that child and then you came back with that result and you already saw it that, oh, you didn't make all your papers or you didn't even come out top at all. And getting home, you've already seen that everyone had gone yeah they've gone on vacation they've left you you're left behind my goodness what would be your reaction how would you feel i would feel terrible i would feel bad i would cry yes because i lost that's how it's gonna be for those people who would be around when the saints have already disappeared. Remember we talked about rapture last month? Remember, right? Exactly. The rapture is God's promise for mankind. And when one is unable to meet the rapture, my goodness, the person is going to be left behind and he's going to stay for the great tribulation. Hmm. I must tell you, the Great Tribulation is not at all something that we should hope to experience. Huh. Well, some people say it's a second chance, but <laughs> I don't advise that anybody should wait for that second chance. So tell yourself, I'm going with the first flight. And so help me God, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, moving forward, the great tribulation, like I said, it is the great trouble. Oh, it's going to be very, 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 very discomforting for anybody that will be there. Now, at this time, okay, at this time, the saints are already out of the earth, okay? 
those people who were not believing that Jesus is Lord or those people that were not going to church, that were not really cool, they are, they are the ones that will be on earth. Right? And at this time, the Antichrist will be released. Like, we, we know he's already showing in, in some dimensions right now. Okay? But this time, he will no longer hide himself. He will come out. He will be the one governing the whole earth as at that time. And what is he going to be doing? He's going to be persecuting seriously. He's going to be he's, ah, he's going to be punishing anybody that will be on earth, especially those who will refuse to take the mark. I'm sure you heard the mark of the beast. It is six, six, and six, triple six. That mark will be uh, more like a, a ticket, okay, for those people that will be on earth. Then you cannot walk, one, let me not say you, <laughs> one cannot actually walk freely on the streets. You know, right now you can walk on the street freely, but then without the mark on your head, According to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, without the mark on one's forehead or on the, any part of the body, one cannot easily walk freely, one cannot buy anything, you cannot go to the market, you cannot do anything, you cannot go to the cinema, you cannot go anywhere because you don't, that person doesn't have the ticket, which is the 666. Hmm. And those that will not have the 666, they will be severely punished. They will be beaten. They will be... Several things is going to happen to them. Several things are going to happen to them, actually. And it's not something that we pray to experience. We will not experience it in Jesus' name. Say it to yourself again. I will go with the first flight. Say it to yourself again. I will go with the first flight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Having said all this, this is not to create an, atmos an atmosphere of fear, okay? This is to create an atmosphere of determination, all right? Like that kid I, I, I spoke about who, whose um, father or mother promised that, that uh, they will be going on vacation if he can fulfill some um, um, duties, okay? Like, it might not even be uh, uh, in, in, in the aspects of academics. It might be, okay, finish your homework, do the chores, and uh, um, some other things, then we'll be going out. And if that child dis decides so, oh, let me sleep a little bit, I will do the, my assignment later. And lo and behold, time is ticking. And <laughs> the time is already, it's already time for them to go out. Will the child go? No, the child will not go anywhere. And that's how it's going to be. Remember, nobody knows when the rapture will take place. Even the angels of heaven don't know. It's only the Father that knows. But he has given us a clue. He gave us a clue already. We spoke about that, in, I think, in the second week last month. We spoke about um, events that will happen before the rapture, okay? So, right now, we are very, very close to the end of time. Tell you, anybody around you there, we are very close to the end of time. You have to be prepared. I have to be prepared. If we must go with the first flight, then we have to be prepared because we don't know when it will happen. Jesus said in Matthew that it will happen suddenly. Christ will come like a thief in the night. The thief doesn't tell the people that he's coming to rob that he's coming to rob them. Otherwise, they will be prepared. So, that is the same way we should be prepared at all times. And God will help us through his Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, right now, if you want to make it to the with, with the first flight, you have to... Surrender to Jesus. You need salvation. Antichristian is going to be talking about salvation next month, um, next week. Beg your pardon. And you will learn more about salvation. But for now, 
you are going to surrender your life to Christ again. Every one of you. I, 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 I want us to take this prayer together. Even if you have said the prayer before, you still have to say it again. Okay, so close your eyes and put your hands on your chest and say, Lord Jesus, I receive you into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Lead me, guide me every day. I don't want to sin against you anymore. And I need the Holy Spirit to help me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, let me quickly pray with you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for your word. You have spoken to us about the great tribulation today. And we do not want to be there when it happens. Lord, we want to go with the first flight. Help us, oh God. Help us to go with the first flight. So help us. Help us in the name of Jesus. Help us to live a good life so that we can go with the first flight. Help us, oh God, never to miss the rapture when it happens. We don't know when it's going to happen, but oh God, we give ourselves to you so that you can help us. You can make us be ready. You can prepare us for that day. Thank you, ever-living Father. Thank you for every child that heard me today. Lord, we thank you for their parents. We thank you for everything that they do. They, they, they are running towards the end of their academic um, year this, this year. Lord Jesus, we ask that you be with them. Help them to come out with flying colors. Help them to come out in flying colors in the name of Jesus. Father, bless their parents. Protect their parents so that they will have every resource to be able to take care of these children. In the name of Jesus, we've prayed. Amen and amen. All right, guys. So we've come to the end of today's service. But before we go, let us take our memory verse. Our memory verse this time is very, very simple. Okay. At my count, we go. One, two, go. Our memory verse is taken from Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23. And it says, let us hold firmly to the hope we have confessed. We can trust God to do what he promised. Yes, God can do what he has promised. And one of his promises is the rapture. And you have to stay prepared for the rapture. Until we come your way next time, stay blessed and we love you. Bye. Jesus died for the world. His blood was spilled to redeem the lost. He took our place so we can be free from sin. Jesus died for the world. His blood was
We have home.